Heard about you long before we met. You're winsome and you're young, at least that's what they said. Underneath your glitter and your gold, you can't deny the fact that you are growing old. You have a thousand eyes that never fall asleep. Someday I will leave you when I've had enough of your beauty. The Canon Demi is a great series of little 35mm half-frame cameras, which was launched in 1963. This is the earliest version, which has a selenium light meter, meaning it doesn't need a battery to operate. I've only put a few rolls of film through this camera, but it's been a lot of fun, and it can actually produce some great images. The great thing about the Canon Demi and other half-frame cameras is the size and functionality. It exposes half of a 35mm frame in portrait orientation, meaning you get at least 72 shots out of a 36 shot roll of film, and in fact I usually get about 76 shots every roll. Half-frame cameras are great for shooting with diptychs in mind, which you can scan or print in pairs like this. Or you can of course just use it as you would any other camera and grab individual frames. The Canon Demi that I have has shutter speeds up to 250th of a second and a top mounted meter readout, which on my camera is still accurate enough for general use with negative film. This version has a 28mm lens, which is the equivalent to about a 40mm on a full frame camera. In later versions, they updated a lot of the features, including allowing for things like faster shutter speeds, interchangeable lenses, they eventually introduced a battery operated meter. This version that I have still goes for a pretty reasonable price. And I think that the F2.8 lens is more than capable, especially for this type of camera. In terms of using the Canon Demi, functionality is quite easy and straightforward. You just have to keep in mind that it is a viewfinder camera, so there's no rangefinder patch, you can't see what you're focusing on. That means you have to use the distance scale on the lens. There's also a handy little table on the back with the scale in feet and meters. So this means that it's worth stopping down a little bit to make sure you have good focus, especially if you're not very good at judging distance by meters and feet. Personally, I love the mid-century design style of this camera. Construction is also very solid, and it's amazing how well this camera still works considering its age. Demi's great for documenting just everyday moments and it's really easy to bring along even with other gear. So an obvious plus side of this kind of camera is the film economy. Even if you're shooting a 24 shot roll, it's great because you're getting double the shots. It's especially good when you use something like a DSLR method of digitizing the negatives. You can really zoom in and get plenty of detail out of them. Or you can simply scan both, and then if you want, you can crop in and grab individual frames from the pair. The lens on this camera can resolve plenty of detail, especially when it's stopped down. One thing about it though is it's not the best at handling flare, depending how you look at it. It can render highlights in the image with this soft glow. This can look a bit hazy, especially at wider apertures. And because of the four bladed aperture in the lens, it can give you sort of square looking out of focus highlights. So all this and the general look of the lens isn't too bad, especially if you like a classic look, which I personally do, especially with the aspect ratio of the individual frames on this camera. So if you're thinking of getting into half frame photography, the Canon Demi series is a great option, including this earliest version. It's a solid little record keeper with a great lens and good reliability. So thanks for watching another Pushing Film review. I appreciate you tuning into this episode and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.
certain you have had another cigarette. Nothing could prepare me for your style. The way your laughter seemed to go for miles.